my name is Angel and I'm with the Santa Fe Film Festival. And today with me we have Sarah. Hey, I'm Sarah. Sarah Carter. So are you the producer, director, actress? What is your role on the film? So yes, it's a multiple hat. Obviously it's um, you never alone making a movie and I was certainly not alone making this movie. Um, I am the producer writer director and I am in it a little bit just because it made sense um, but it's just a tiny appearance um, and I produced this with um, the two lead actresses Sierra Danielle and Erin Hammond um, and yeah obviously our crew amazing cinematographer Ian Trimble and line producer Cynthia Bravo my husband Kevin Barth edited and uh, you know it was a it was certainly a family affair yeah a major project yeah how awesome so for people who hadn't seen your film how would you describe it in one word heartwarming with the dash does that count and so what was your inspiration for the film like do you have a personal connection with it yes I do it's um, it's funny I did not think for a second that this was this was my life story. Um, the two lead actresses came to me with a desire uh, to have me direct a vehicle project for both of them. And they were working on a project together and telling me, you know, their personal life stories and how they overlap. And they met in a church, a Christian church. So we touch on the, like, Christian influences versus and how that conflicts with the spirit of art and um, for me my perspective is that art is my religion, art is God, creativity, pure freedom, absolute forgiveness, radical acceptance, all those great things that art wakes us up to. Um, I feel there's great virtue in a lot of um, you know, Christian values, but this film definitely deals with the breakout of the artistic spirit um, through sort of uh, Christian confusion or um, oppression, but also the magic of Christ's healing energy. Um, so it, I'm making this sound like a religious film, but it's not. <laughs> The one of the sisters, they're estranged sisters. It's a black and white film, so it's a sort of an homage to um, I love silent films, and I, uh, Amelie is one of my biggest influences okay. as a filmmaker. And that's not a silent film, neither is this. But there's elements of um, just being deep inside the emotional experience and having it not be so much about the dialogue. Mm -hmm. um, so these estranged sisters come together because their mother has just committed suicide and left the house to one of the sisters that the other sister is living in with her father. So she comes to reclaim this house mm -hmm. um, and it's unbeknownst to the father that the mother did this different ways of grieving, different narratives, psychedelic mushrooms are involved. That's awesome. Yes, and this just this reconnect between two women who couldn't be more different um, as they kind of fall into the rabbit hole of this house that was their childhood home. It's dirty. It's a bit dirty. Addictions <laughs> involved in the art, the LA art world is mm -hmm. The, that's where it's set. Okay. Yes. And so your film is in the Santa Fe Film Festival. What is the next step for your film? Do you want to submit it to more film festivals, get it distributed? We've had such a wonderful run so far. Um, definitely looking for distribution, but it's lovely that Tribeca just created this distribution platform for their alumni film. So we will you know, on that lovely distribution platform um, starting in June. So that will that will culminate a year-long festival run. But I've just submitted to a bunch of festivals in Eastern Europe. Um, 
I, I want to continue to have this film be my way into meeting more people in the film community. And right. I, kind of, I want to milk this festival run as long as I can. I <laughs> it's the most that. amazing way to see the world. This is actually our third time in Santa Fe. It's the other film that my husband um, wrote with his brother and directed. Um, and I am in that and helped produce it. It was here at this festival last year. Oh, okay. The Pity, how awesome. So did you guys come last year for it? So we came last year. Oh, how awesome. And this is very different than last year. Yeah, last year was COVID, yeah. like, so it was definitely way different. But this year it's much more bigger and yeah, like you have this lounge. It feels yeah. so beautiful. One of my major influences is Kill Bill. Really? Yes. <laughs> Tarantino, he, he makes me scream with joy and delight. Um, and yeah, and then I guess Baz Luhrmann also moves me deeply, like Great Gatsby and Moulin Rouge. And so you said you have a band, yeah. and so you started this band all by yourself? Was no, it no, no, project? no. I have a, I had my own little music project going that was, again, just baby tiny. And then I met with um, David Drake, and he and I, created a project together called Sanguine Drake and we put out two albums and played all over like mainly LA and anywhere you can drive to like, and driving distance in LA. Um, and then my husband joined the band and we put out another album called Mandora and I was you know, playing shows, pregnant, and then I had a baby, and it's just not as easy to do the dive bar scene. So she's five, and we're um, all inspired. And David also had a baby at the same time. Oh, how crazy! So we're yeah, we got we got old together, but now we're gonna. You're you're my first only woman I've interviewed so far, and all about women empowerment. How do you feel as a woman in the industry trying to make feature films? You know, you, you write, you wrote it, mm -hmm. you produced it, you acted a little bit in it. How, how, did, how was that experience like? Well, I felt supported okay. because there's such uh, an intention right now to push the female gaze. And I also did this with two other women. So we had that, um, you know, that feminine trifecta. That's awesome. And there was a lot of power in That's that. That's all power. And, and it's real. Mm -hmm. it it's is. very real and it's a unique production experience. It's a unique creative experience. And I highly recommend it. Um, women supporting women is absolute, it's pure magic. And I, I think the industry itself has a long way to go. Yes. But, and you know, the fact that it's a trend right now to, trend is maybe an understatement, but the, it, like the, a movement. It is a movement. The the work that's coming out, it's so evident. Women talking, Sarah Pauli's women talking, unbelievable. Um, there is something so important and unique about the feminine perspective and the feminine process and the feminine intelligence that needs a different kind of time and space and platform and people they really respond to it they love it and i do think that um, yeah it demands a different kind of sensitivity and intelligence yeah different mentality for sure different mentality yeah, yeah. and i think men are just as hungry for it mm -hmm. True. Well, thank you so much for being interviewed today. Beautiful. Thank you for being here and thank you for the Santa Fe Film Festival. Yeah, just thank you for having me. I absolutely love, like I said, Santa Fe and any opportunity to share my film is a true gift. Well, thank you guys so much. My name is Angel and I will catch you guys later.